Chem 110A sample final exam problem number 11. We only got 11 and 12. What is the empirical formula of a compound, a sample of which contains 24.6 grams of potassium, 23.3 grams of chlorine, and 30.2 grams of oxygen? As always, it's the same. Convert to moles using the periodic table. Divide by the smallest number of moles out of the three elements called normalizing and then see what the ratio you have. See if you have to make any adjustments. If they're all counting numbers, write out the formula. Okay, so 24.6 grams of K, 23.3 grams of Cl, 30.2 grams of O. We're multiplying by one mole over a molar mass of each and you know by now that oxygen is 16 grams. You probably remember that chlorine is 35.45 which is close enough for 35.5 and you might have to look up potassium. Well let's look up potassium. There's K. 39.10, which in this calculation, 39 is close enough. Okay. The results of this calculation gives me the following moles. 0 0.631 moles of the potassium. 0.656 moles of the chlorine. And 1.89 moles of the oxygen. Well, it's clear that that's not the ratio we can use because no compounds have decimals in their molar ratio, so we have to do the normalization step. Divide all by the smallest number of moles. At least one of them has to be exactly one. We have one K. When we take 0 0.656 divided by 0 0.631, we get 1.04 CLs and we get three oxygens. Well, that's really close to one, isn't it? It definitely isn't close to 0.25 or 0.33 or 0.50. That's approximately equal to one chlorine. So now we've got one K, one chlorine, and three oxygens. K C L O three done eight C eight D eight E be quick with these the last three problems are empirical formulas and you can buzz through these in about three or four minutes and be done with one quarter of the test in just a couple of minutes you need to be efficient with this okay good luck.